After a big six-week-long strike this fall, the United Auto Workers announced today that their members have voted to ratify the historic new contracts the union was able to negotiate with Ford and GM and Stellantis. One of the interesting effects of this strike, though, is how the other auto companies, non-union auto companies, are also giving their workers a raise because of the UAW strike. It's almost certainly just about dissuading their own workers from also wanting to join the UAW, given what the UAW was able to get for their members at other automakers. But whatever the motivation, a raise is a raise. Toyota was the first non-union auto worker to announce a wage increase for their workers in the U.S. after the UAW got their deal. But now all these non-union automakers are saying the same thing. Honda, Hyundai, Nissan, Subaru now all say they're going to raise wages for their workers, too. Again, they're trying to keep their workers from joining the union by showing them that they can get a wage raise <laughs> without being in the union. Last week, UAW President Sean Fain told a Senate committee they call this the UAW bump. He says in this case, the initials stand for UAW, you are welcome. In the past few months, labor unions across a whole bunch of different industries have been showing the power of organizing in the workplace. And that is true right here at MSNBC. Last week, after more than two years of negotiations, the MSNBC union members of the Writers Guild of America East reached a tentative agreement with management on a first contract. Now the union membership is going to vote on whether to accept the deal, but having a tentative agreement uh, feels, like a, <laughs> feels like a breath of fresh air for everybody uh, in this space. Watch this space along with all of us.